Singularity is the EVE Online testing server where you can test new ships, new fits, or new concepts before really committing to them on the live server. It is in my opinion that everybody, every player should be utilizing the test server before making training or ISK commitments on the live server to make sure that they like ships or they like weapon systems or they like certain gameplay modes. In order to get to Singularity on the launcher at the bottom where it says Tranquility, you wanna click on that and you wanna go over here to the test server, Singularity. If this is the first time you ever switched over to this side, it will download and update a client and then you'll have to log in with your character. In order to, for your character to use Singularity, they will have to have existed prior to the mirror. Mirrors happen several times a year and what it, that essentially is is CCP will take all of the player data information and copy it over to the test server. So if you had made a new character prior to a new mirror being done, that character will not be able to log in. So keep that in mind. Almost everything is seated on the market in the test server. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, you can go to the market and you can pretty much look at anything and it is posted for about 100 isk. Things that are not seated would be super capitals, titans, and some specialty dreadnoughts like the Zenitra and also skill injectors. One of the biggest things that new testers or new people using Singularity find is that they don't have any isk or they don't have any plex or more importantly, they don't have any skill points because most of the time you're gonna be trying to test something that you don't have skills for. So I'm going to go through the ways on actually getting Omega on that character if you logged in and it doesn't have it. And also how to actually get and manage skill points on the test server. The New Eden store actually exists in its own entity and its own side of the test server. So you can actually use this to get Omega for your characters or MCTs or extractors. We'll talk a little bit more about this once we actually get some ISK. But the way that we usually try to get ISK on the test server is by using the platinum insurance thing. Normally you want to take the highest ship, the most expensive ship that you can fly. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and get a Rorkel for a hundred isk. We'll go ahead and buy that. I'm going to double click on it. That'll assemble it and then I'll double click on it again to board it. Once I'm boarded into here, you're going to want to go to insure it. And what we'll want to do here is we want to go with the platinum insurance here. Once you have your insurance, what you'll want to do is you want to undock. And then what we're essentially going to do is self-destruct this vehicle in order to get that payout. You can do this several times and it might take more times for you to do it if on a lower ship hull. Um, Rorkels work really well. I mean, basically Rorkels and up because they have a good platinum uh, payout. So we can right click on our ship, go down here and go to self-destruct and it'll go in about two minutes. We do have to give it a couple seconds after undocking so that the session can change. But the idea here is that you will be using ship insure, insure ship destruction to get your ISK. Now, most of the time, whenever they copy your character over to the test server, any ISK that you had in your wallet at the time of mirror will be in your wallet. So chances are you can probably skip this step not a lot of um, like a couple billion is goes a long way on the test server so you don't need a whole lot because most things that you're going to buy are going to cost only 100 is while we're waiting for this i'm actually going to talk about the player commands but one of the main ones you're going to be using is going to be slash move me if you type that it's going to give you this pop-up window with all of these systems that you can just click and move to now keep in mind Slash move me will not work if you have an active PVP log off timer in space. So if it is not working for you, the chances are you have a, a, some sort of like timer on. So you just need to wait for that to go before it'll work. And then all these systems down here are basically main hubs like Dudixie, Rans, Amar. The MTAC O is the main system that testing um, occurs in. And CCP has two keep stars. They have a Singularity testing Keepstar, and then they also have a Singularity testing Satoyo. Um, the Satoyo is going to be ba basically where you can test uh, manufacturing and things like that. And then the Keepstar is um, the both these Keepstars are both the Keepstar and the Satoyo are both actually one of the best markets in the game. 
but you can also find other markets along kind of like normal space. We'll go through these, um, all these wormhole locations right here. 504 is essentially a C6 with the red giant effect. The 820 is a C5 with the pulsar effect. And then the 225 is a C4 with the black hole effect. And then 348 is a shattered C3 with a cataclysmic effect. And then the 2137 is a C2 with a megastar effect. And then the 528 is a shattered with a well, wolf effect. So essentially, if you were testing some nullsec um, iHub upgrades or something that requires, you know, a lot of uh, indexes and things in nullsec, then you could type slash boost solve. And normally this takes either a uh, testing server reset or a session timer or a relog in order to see. But once you have kind of everything set up, you hit boost solve, <clears throat> it'll boost your military index, your industrial index and things like that to five so that you can actually test things like iHub upgrades and whatnot. The next command that we will go over is called boost standings. Boost standings is exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna boost pretty much everything to the maximum. This allows you to test any standings based content like Hoshvin or um, L4 security missions or uh, different epic arcs and things like that. So typing boost standings and then doing a relog or a session change. Now we're gonna talk about the most important command that you'll have in your arsenal. Like I said earlier in the video, chances are you're going to be trying to test something you don't have skills for. So there is a command that is called slash copy skills. If you kind of queue up a lot of skills on your singularity version of your tune, they will run parallel with each other with your live. But it, using the command copy skills will basically take your current trained skills from the live server. And in real time, they'll, it'll, it'll basically copy them over on demand by using this skill. The caveat here is that if you use a skill extractor on this character, you will incur a 14 day waiting period before you can copy skills again. There is a way to actually kind of farm uh, skill points on the test server and that allows you to kind of get enough skill points to test things. And what that does is I usually use my alts. So Plex is also just available for 100 disc. So by using our insurance, our platinum insurance and blowing up ships, we we're going to get ISK and then we use that ISK to get Plex. And then what we we'll want to do is go to the new Eden store with that Plex. We we'll want to go to services and then we're going to want to go down here and buy uh, skill extractors. And so essentially I'll log in a alt that has five or 10 or 15 or 20 million skill points. And uh, before I do anything with extractors, I'll make sure I copy skills just in case those characters on the live side have um, trained quite a bit before um, getting them on the test server. I'll buy a bunch of these extractors and then I will basically extract all their skills and then give those skill injectors to whatever character I'm trying to train on. And that would allow me to get a, a lot of skill points over the top. And by doing it that way, that means that the only person, the only character that's incurring that 14 day wait on copy skills is that alt. So if you have a bunch of vaults that you're doing this on, then essentially you can go in every 14 days. You can uh, you can suck out all their skill points. So essentially after you suck out all the skill points that all, they're going to be at like 5 million. You come back to that character in like 14 days. You log in. You type flash copy skills. It'll copy all their skills back over. So they'll get all their skills back from live. And then you're able to actually extract those skills again. So for instance, if you have an alt that has 20 million skill points, then every 14 days, you can essentially extract and give roughly uh, 15 million or so. Obviously, there's going to be some diminishing returns with the extraction process, but you can essentially every 14 days uh, farm skill points to give to whatever character is actually uh, testing on the server. Other than that, everything on the test server essentially operates the same. So you can go in here and find any of your fittings or anything and you can go over here to buy all at the market. And as you can see, this whole Tingu, which would normally cost probably like 600 million or so on live, is only gonna cost about 211,000 ISK. This allows you to very easily make changes and go out and test DED sites with uh, certain ships or just to see if you like things. I, and I started using the test server early on just to test different gameplay mechanics, especially when new features for new patches come out. This allows you to uh, make good educated decisions on if you want to go into a certain ship or if you want to go into a certain weapon type or if you know the ship that you've been flying you want to test and see if it can actually do like a d like a eight of ten or a seven of ten 
it's a good or if it can um, do like a certain level four mission or something so <clears throat> after you get kind of set up with the isk and you get your omega and you know you get some skills and stuff like that the rest of the test server operates pretty much the same as the live side in terms of running wrath sites or um, deploying structures or things like that hopefully you learned something in this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one peace out